Irish Celtic Spirit of Ireland makes its debut at Auckland Civic Theatre tonight. For seven shows only, featuring the finest performers from top Irish dance companies, this production is also jam-packed with music and storytelling. Here to tell us more are award-winning Irish dancers Jennifer Corliss and Emmett McMorrow. Welcome to you both. Yes, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Emmett just mentioned off-camera that it'd be way easier if he was actually teaching us to dance rather than talking about it. That's not happening, Absolutely. Emmett. We've just made an executive decision. Not going to be happening. You were a great <laughs> saying that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this is a New Zealand debut for the show, but yep. you've already you've just come off the back of a tour of France and Germany. Is that right? So yep. How did all that go? Uh, brilliant. Yeah, it's, it always goes down very well in Europe. It's very popular in Europe, especially France, Germany, Italy. Uh, but apart from that, that's mainly where this show yeah. tours. Yeah. Okay. Well, other shows do all of Europe, but we mainly do them three countries. Yeah. So. Such good fun by what I've just seen. It looks amazing and people really gravitate to the energy, to the fun. Jennifer, is this your first time in New Zealand? Yes. Oh, yeah. and what do you think so far? Amazing. You've only Amazing. been here probably well, 24 hours. Yeah, well, 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 yeah. 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 Um, a lot to go sightseeing and everything. So right. That should be and, and do you find that when you travel to different places there's a different energy in the crowd or is it all pretty much the same? Oh no. It's always different. Oh, good. We feed off the energy in the audience so it's always good. Oh, you're well, going to have a good time. Well, you know, it's like if you've ever watched Irish dancing, it's really hard not to sort of do your little seat dance. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you speak. So, so, you say. so it's sitting in a pub. Tell us the general gist of the storyline. So it kind of talks you through all the major kind of moments that's happened in Ireland, like the Titanic, uh, Braveheart, I, uh, Last Mohicans, if you for all of it. Like, so we dance through the stories. In a pub. In a pub. In a pub. Obviously, because <laughs> we're Irish. <laughs> really? We, we, we have our reputation and we live up to it in the show. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but yeah, we just kind of dance through the story of Ireland and there's a narrator who talks you through it all as well with a little comedy and there's the serious parts of the show. Obviously, and a lot of dancing. As well. And a lot, and a lot of, of dancing. dancing. And, do you, and uh, do you have a band? How does that work? Yeah, there's yeah we a, have a live band. No yeah. way. Yeah. 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 So all together, Jennifer, the crew, the amount of people on stage and the band, how many people are we talking? I say close to 30, if not just over. Good, great. Yeah, well, that's amazing. a fun tour yeah. then for you guys as yeah. well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Does it make a difference when you're dancing to live music as opposed to somebody's just gone and, you know, flicked the, well, no, you don't do the tape recorder, plugged in the, uh, plugged in the phone difference. these days? Yeah, and more massive. can go wrong, yeah. <laughs> obviously. So you always have to be on top four. Why, yeah. what, makes it, what makes it more difficult? Uh, well, it's just the, the band themselves have to be on point literally all the time. And it's the same with the dancers, like it's not just the music, like a lot of Irish dance shows are not live, but like this show is 100% live. We're, we all wear mics as well on our feet, so the dancers are live and the band's live. So. Right, so if there's somebody who's, who's out of time, Gonna yeah, they just get in it. trouble. Yeah. 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 Put in the back row for the next show. Yeah. 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 And I'm curious, how, how did you two get into it? Because the Irish dancing is huge in Ireland, but in particular Irish dancing. So Jennifer, we'll start with you. How did you get into it? What made you fall in love with it? Well, I started at the age of three and my mum used to dance as well. And then her mum used to dance. So that's how we got involved. Um, I started when I was three and then swiftly moved into competitive and then kind of left that when I was like 18, 19 and then I wanted to do it professionally and then I've been on tour for about 11 years now so wow. we won't say the age <laughs> um, and then recently I just became a TCRG which I'm qualified to teach kids now how to wow. dance wow. so there's loads of different routes you can go down. Um, did you ever dancing. think you'd be doing a show like this when you first started out as a, you know, Never. As a youngin? No. Well, there you Never. Go. Nice. What Brilliant. about you, Emmett? Uh, my mum is an Irish dancing teacher, so I didn't have a choice in the yeah. matter. <laughs> 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 we get that theory, that theme running through a lot of people who are doing incredible things. It's like, mm. my mum made me. Yeah. Um, do you, is, does everybody, in, do all kids in Ireland learn to Irish dance? Is that a thing or is it you can choose what yeah. you do still or is that really common? Uh, a, a lot of it, a lot of it. There's a lot of dance teachers that go to national schools and do like, like after school stuff. It's not you don't have to do it, but a lot of people do it for even if it's just for a year or something. Yeah. And then if you like it, then you move on and you actually go to the dancing class. Mm. Is, but yeah, because well, in New Zealand ballet and jazz are very popular. So if you line up those two next to your Irish dancing in Ireland, uh, is, is Irish dancing the one that always stands out? 
Or is, is ballet and jazz just as popular? Uh, Irish dancing is, yeah, yeah no, it is the most popular. It is the most popular, but obviously there is still jazz, ballet, tap, mm. modern, what, contemporary. There's still all of them things, but it's way easier to go to Irish dancing because there's more teachers, there's more this, there's mm. more that, you know. And physically, is it more, more or less physical than other types of dance? Because oh. you look at it, oh. and it's like, <laughs> obviously there's a lot of leg work going on, but what about the rest of everything? Yeah, well, upper body wise? Yeah. N not too much. Right, yeah. Le I'm done. Legs wise, it's quite intense. Yeah, so you never need to do leg day at the gym. Yeah, 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 <laughs> exactly. <Never. laughs> exactly. Excellent. And hey, well, it sounds, it sounds so cool. Yeah, it looks fun. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. and Thank Irish you so dancing. Thank you for bringing it, yeah. Very, very loved in New Zealand. Mm. Irish Celtic Spirit of Ireland is at the Civic in Auckland from tonight until Sunday for seven shows only. So you can check out their website for details and Ticketmaster for bookings. It will be fun. Get along. <laughs>